Back in 2002, 2003, 2004, I was studying Islam for one reason and one reason only. My best friend was a Muslim. After he became a Christian, I thought I was done with Islam. I had only been studying Islam because my best friend was a Muslim, and now my best friend was no longer a Muslim. But I ended up continuing with Islam for several reasons. One of the reasons was that my best friend was an apostate from Islam, and Muhammad ordered his followers to execute apostates. Islam's most trusted sources are filled with passages like Sunan Ibn Majah 2535. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever changes his religion, execute him. Back in 2005, 2006, Islam was growing rapidly. The bigger Islam gets, the more aggressive it becomes. My best friend was an apostate, and Islam calls for apostates to be executed. Not being a coward, I decided to keep going after Islam. But something interesting happened over and over and over again. I would tell people, Muhammad ordered his followers to kill apostates. And people would respond, no, he didn't. I know, because I have a Muslim friend, and my Muslim friend doesn't believe that at all. Somehow, in the minds of Westerners, Islam is defined by whatever westernized Muslims believe, not by Allah and Muhammad. So quoting Islam's most trusted sources to them was absolutely meaningless because nice Muslims were saying something completely different. But now things are changing. Now we have popular Muslim apologists openly declaring that ex-Muslims will be executed if Islam wins. Here's Ali Dawa telling the apostate prophet that in a state governed by Islamic law, the apostate prophet and others like him will be executed. This is a part of our religion. There's a reason to it. Yeah, there's a reason why there's a capital punishment because people like you, little weaklings who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt and we're proud of that. Yeah, capital punish will be applied in an Islamic state. Yeah, not individuals going and doing it themselves like uh, idiots. Yeah, no, under an emir, it is done. Yes, and we, you know what, we'll be watching. So the Dawah team is working tirelessly to spread Islam so that they can establish an Islamic state. And if they ever get what they want, what will happen to people like the apostate prophet and Abdullah Samir and other ex-Muslims? They'll be executed, not by random mobs of Muslims, no. It will be orderly. The Islamic state will execute them for refusing to believe in the most obvious false prophet in history. You might expect Adam Saleh, a Muslim YouTuber with nearly 5 million subscribers, to reply in the comments, No, we don't want to execute apostates. Islam is a religion of peace and tolerance. Instead, after watching Ali Dawa publicly proclaim that the goal they're striving towards includes executing apostates, Adam Saleh replied, Allahu Akbar. Muhammad Hijab agreed, declaring, this apus apostate makes me sick. Great to see the team humiliate this creature. Now think about this. I say, Islam calls for the killing of apostates. The response comes, stop lying. I have a Muslim friend, and I've never once heard her say that she wants apostates to be executed. So I say, guess what? Your Muslim friend is not, has never been, and never will be an authoritative source of Islamic doctrine or practice. Islam's authoritative sources declare that apostates must be killed. And the response comes, you're just being an Islamophobe. Well, is Ali Dawa an Islamophobe? because he's publicly proclaiming that he's watching apostates and that when the time comes, apostates will be executed. Notice, if you're an apostate, it's in your best interest to oppose the spread of Islam. 
But as soon as you oppose the spread of Islam, millions of Westerners are ready to tell you that you're a racist and a bigot and an Islamophobe, as if it's racist and bigoted and Islamophobic to not want to be executed. There should be complete agreement among all people who believe in freedom and human rights that Islam must be opposed, resisted, and refuted. Instead, any opposition, any resistance, any refutation will be viewed as fear-mongering and hate speech. Have we lost our minds or just our balls? The apostate prophet made a video responding to Ali Dawa's public declaration that apostates will be killed if the speaker's corner Dawa teams ever get their way. AP asks a simple question. If he were to say that in an ideal world, Muslims would be executed, how would that be perceived? Then why is it okay for Muslim YouTubers to proclaim that in their ideal world, apostates will be executed? You should definitely check out the video. Also, if you'd like to know what other policies will be implemented in Ali Dawa's Shariatopia, including the rulings on marrying nine-year-old girls, be sure to watch my video, Ali G. Dawa, Islamic Lessons on Puberty and Marriage at Speaker's Corner.